Hello everyone. Well, uh, it's been a long time. I did not post any uh, uh, tutorial about uh, Angular. Actually, I was uh, thinking about Angular 4, which has been updated uh, recently uh, for Data Table actually. Actually, uh, the uh, data table is uh, is uh, really a necessary table which uh, uh, expose uh, data, and uh, usually uh, people uh, demand for that uh, uh, filtering, searching, sorting, etc. This tutorial uh, is based on uh, f mm, a table which is uh, uh, a table which is a dynamic table. Um, and uh, I'll show you uh, the basic um, uh, material how to create a dynamic table using Angular 4, um, uh, including uh, filtering uh, capability. Uh, usually, uh, people would like to have uh, filter data based on um, their um, any column column. Uh, um, column based data actually so in this example I will use um, you user can put a there any kind of uh, any column data actually to filter you don't have to um, think about that uh, only this column or this column actually all available column you can use uh, your, your desirable uh, search key search parameter so let's see now uh, first um, uh, I have divided uh, this section into two parts first one um, I'll show you the actual code which has been documented uh, using Microsoft Word uh, so that you will, you will have a clear idea uh, later you can uh, have this uh, document once you uh, request um, I'll send you uh, this document um, you can type write this code and uh, finally I have used this example in my project and uh, I can show you the output result so uh, don't waste time so let's see here this is my uh, the objective that's uh, how to create a dynamic data table with filter option for angular 2 and 4 basically it works for both i don't i did not use actually pipe or any kind of uh, functionality i used a very simple method uh, simple uh, method uh <coughs> so let's see the first one uh, step i called it step one we need to create a component i named it uh, column dot component uh, I, I already mentioned that we will create a, a, a dynamic uh, data table usually you can create any table uh, it is a simple HTML table but uh, this time we are going to create um, dynamic table that means a table has a column and data I mean a, co a table has a column and each column has a header and value so this is the actually for column class um, we are importing component input for Angular Core, and this class we I uh, I will explain uh, below that uh, about this class. Um, uh, just uh, for this, just skip that one. And uh, this is my component. I'm a decorator, and this is my selector. I named it column. And it has no uh, column has no any template. That is why it's uh, empty. And this is my component class. It has two input decorator one is a value and header because uh, each uh, column has uh, two things that is value and header so that is why you need to uh, inject those things and there is a constructor usually and uh, again uh, this class used a reference table and we are using uh, actually this class is responsible to create the create the um, table and uh, this class um, and uh, uh, every you know the column you, you know we are going to add column to this table so that is why it says that uh, table dot add column method and this reference mm, okay now table dot component which was uh, not clear now it will be clear actually uh, this is uh, come uh, you know you're importing this component again HTTP for uh, for HTTP class response injectable component put from core and this is column component actually comes from here this is comes from actually this is this this one uh, I'm importing um, to here 
column component from column component and this is a selector data table actually this is the this is the data table uh, selector uh, finally i'm going to uh, put this uh, um, uh, selector on my uh, html uh, component uh, component so that uh, you will it will show the data table so this is a template is a very simple template uh, here uh, is the input type this is a user can put their desirable data this is a condition that uh, filter is true or false so and uh, this is a model actually named query and um, the method key up user when keyboard press the keyboard it will uh, call up automatically key up equal to filter is a method actually this method will call the uh, result uh, tent data I mean it will fil filter data for filter purpose and the placeholder and uh, now this is my table table it table is a header uh, and the table uh, header uh, it will create dynamically that is why we have used uh, angular 4 let uh, column variable of columns i mean if you have 10 or two, uh, 20 columns it will be uh, dynamically added here and uh, it, this will show the header name column dot header is uh, um, interpolation well the header part is complete now you know we have used a uh, header and a value now uh, the we need to have integrate the value this is a body section actually so it's coming from a, another for loop and the notice that uh, uh, this one is a method actually there is it should be it written this method should return a list actually a table list uh, you, may, you can use any you know any kind of data source like uh, api or any uh, data source json data source whatever this method will uh, return the list and finally we are going to put the value column value in each row <coughs> let's figure out its uh, class uh, this uh, class has uh, two input decorator one is called data set that means uh, the data set the data source is a reference and uh, this is just a boolean variable in a well filter that means if you if it is false that uh, filter will stop if it is true it filter will on so that is why we have used a boolean variable so, uh, input uh, decorator and uh, this is column variable types column component type array actually because uh, you have you may have a uh, uh, more uh, more than i mean lots of uh, column actually and this is a variable and uh, this is a variable also and uh, now we have we have used two method that is add column uh, add column that uh, if uh, we are going to push actually here's an array actually this dot column dot push dot column that means we are going to push into this array and this is my get data finally is uh, this uh, the which is returns from the data table actually this get data method here uh, we have used if condition if the query means the user are you know putting the input uh, say example let's see the HTML component um, where uh, yeah, yeah yeah this is a model query actually this query uh, we have used here that if is f not equal to empty uh, that means uh, it will uh, return filter list otherwise it will return the, the data set now uh, what is filter actually filter what is filter actually where it will uh, where it will come from let's see the filter 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 here this method of filter when you press you know uh, put your desirable parameter it will automatically every key press you will search if you call this filter method and let's see what is filter method in this filter method you see that uh, the result filter list equal to uh, this, no, this is the data set actually you are referencing the uh, list of array uh, dot filter is a function and here we are mm, uh, using a for loop to uh, get the resultant data finally it, uh, we have used two lower case method method and uh, this is my query parameter and index of point uh, method so it's um, if uh, minus one means uh, 
uh, there is no data actually if it is uh, not null actually it will ultimately bind this reference notice uh, it is not the part of the code it has come from another uh, my existing application so this is not necessary actually well the final step is step 3 is very really simple where are we going to show this output so this is the you know this is the uh, actual user interface where user user going to input um, using input text input name well first uh, um, don't mix with this uh, input because it is uh, for dynamic table it is um, this component it, it has this is actually component uh, uh, template so you don't have to worry about this is a uh, dynamically actually it is it is it is uh, it will create it will be created uh, based on dynamic header and column and uh, this portion is uh, part of actually uh, component so you don't have to think about this one it is back end actually but this is the front end where the user will sh uh, show this uh, page and uh, uh, this is ng model uh, input name actually and uh, finally this uh, uh, data table this data set actually data set is a variable and this is my desirable product list which will be injected and this data table come from here uh, decorator uh, we need to use decorator actually this is the decorator as I mentioned earlier so this is data table and this is the variable for referencing the data source user defined data source here I have used product list and uh, we have uh, mentioned here true so that it uh, it has enable facility and this is my three column you can add whatever you want and this is my header column actually and the uh, data table is close and that's it so uh, in this uh, third um, where we're we going to actually show this output uh, example used uh, here product list uh, which hold data from any kind of data source like HTTP get request and this is the input key parameter I mean search parameter so uh, let's see um, the output um, about my project where I already created actually this is my project I have used this one wow it's not it's working yeah yes working fine this is my uh, dashboard here um, here uh, you see that uh, we have a room data table are fetching from get uh, um, a, you know API request from get data actually and uh, I would like to search the example how many I mean couple room actually so COU couple you, you know it will show only couple data now maybe I will uh, search for about description like which is well which is nice something like uh, nice only nice and uh, say example room status open uh, room number room one say example room one uh, well it will show you know first one 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 so if i press over here double one it will show room one so it's very easy and nice i think it's pretty simple tutorial you don't have to think about five actually it's really method nothing else uh, let's uh, examine what i did step one create uh, column component dot ts just copy this code step two uh, this is uh, imp importing the you know component and uh, this is the data component dot ts actually data component dot ts file just copy this code and you will have a dynamic table content and uh, and uh, third one yeah this is okay this is uh, the two method actually th three method actually for add column uh, get data and a filter this is return the data and is a filter and part three where you will show the output uh, in my case uh, is a app component html 
just simple is the input box and my decorator I mean the data table which I already created this one so in your case you will change this one and this uh, ROM ID ROM name I mean you will uh, change the value and header as per your requirement and that's it it will work on it so uh, thank you and uh, I'm going to uh, post um, uh, the you know uh, another tutorial uh, soon uh, um, if you have a query just uh, let me know uh, that uh, uh, my email address is uh, John Bangla at uh, gmail.com thank you